Hi, my name is Andrea, and today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for orange crush pound cake. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So let's get started. What I am doing is putting my softened, unsalted butter into my mixing bowl, and I'm using my vintage KitchenAid mixer. I think this is from like the 50s or 60s, I'm not quite sure. Next, I'm adding in my sugar, and I'm gonna let them cream together for about three to five minutes. Okay, so that butter and sugar are nice and fluffy. Now I'm adding in a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of orange extract. And I'm gonna turn that mixer right back on again. And now I'm adding in my eggs one at a time. My eggs are also at room temperature. You wanna make sure all of your wet ingredients are at room temperature. That's gonna help your cake bake more evenly. And now I'm gonna add my flour in a little at a time. And next we're just adding in that orange crush. And the orange crush is also at room temperature. Now, if you can't find orange crush, any type of orange soda will do. Okay, so now my batter is ready to go into my greased bunt can, and I used Baker's Joy on it. And by the way, I have my oven preheating to 325 degrees. Okay, so this is ready to go into the oven. I am going to bake this for about an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and a half. Everyone's oven is different, but you wanna make sure that a toothpick inserted near the center of that cake comes out clean. Okay, so I just took the cake out of the oven. I let it bake for exactly an hour and 20 minutes. I'm gonna let it cool in this pan for 10 minutes, and then I am going to flip it out onto a cooling rack and let it cool completely. Um, one thing I wanted to caution you against is letting your, your cake cool completely in the pan. It's gonna be nearly impossible to get it out if you let that cake completely cool. Okay, so my cake has completely cooled and here it is. And now I'm gonna make a really quick glaze to go on top. Okay, so I've got some powdered sugar in my measuring cup here, and now I'm adding some unsalted melted butter, and I'm adding a little bit of vanilla. Now you could add orange extract if you want to, totally up to you, but I'm just going with the vanilla. And then you're just gonna add a little bit of milk at a time. It's always easier to add than it is to uh, go back in and try to make that icing thicker. Okay, so this is the texture that I was looking for. I prefer mine a little bit on the thicker side. I ended up adding about two tablespoons of milk. And now I'm just gonna drizzle that glaze right on top. Okay, so here is the cake in all of its glaze and glory. And now I'm gonna cut a slice so you can see the inside. Okay, so here is the cake and I cut out a slice so you all could see the inside of it. This is such a quick and easy cake. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy desserts that I will link in the description box. And if you haven't joined our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.